Hey friends, it's Neely and a couple of helpers here. What are your names? Levi. Renee, Renee and? Levi. Levi. And we are going to make some keto chow ice cream today. I did a video the other day talking about Renee and I starting a new series where we make some keto chow recipes. And me. And sometimes Levi's gonna join mm. us. And um, we just got a Ninja Creamy specifically for making keto chow ice cream with because everyone raves about it. And we figured that that should be our first keto chow recipe. Although from what I hear, keto chow ice cream is more of a way of life than a recipe. So we really need to get on this. We resisted or I resisted jumping on the creamy train for quite some time. Um, and I, I searched around for different ice cream makers, but really there's nothing on the market that competes with the creamy right now as far as home ice cream makers go. It's very unique in its function and people rave about it. And finally I was like, I've just got to do it. So I got the creamy deluxe and I got two extra pints. They call them pints, even though on the creamy deluxe, they're 28 ounce capacity, which kind of bugs me because there's no pint that's 28 ounces. Anyways, um, so 28 ounce ice cream containers. Uh, so I have two extra of those. We did an unboxing of the creamy yesterday and I just have a little bit of footage to throw in here of that. And then once we got it unboxed and everything out of the package and everything washed, we mixed up a couple of batches of keto chow and threw them in the freezer. And then we had to wait the painfully long 24 hours uh, until they were ready. So they are finally ready and we are going to make them into ice cream. But what we did was we did one packet or one serving of the chocolate peanut butter keto chow. And we did that with um, half a stick of butter. And we also added the fourth of a teaspoon of tarragum that uh, Steve from Serious Keto recommends. I also wanted to mention we followed the directions from the keto chow video from Chris, where he talked about the way that he makes um, keto chow ice cream in the creamy. And so of course, why would I not follow his directions? And then in that video, he used Steve's tip of the tarragum. So I also added that. So we have a chocolate peanut butter. And then um, since I have a big bag of the blueberry pie, I decided to do two scoops of that one. Too. So two servings. We did that with heavy cream. I wanted to see the difference between the one with butter and the one with heavy cream. And I found that if I reduce the water just slightly, I can fit two servings of keto chow into one of the bigger pints. So if I added like 12 ounces of water per serving, I could fit the two servings in there, which is kind of great to be able to make two servings in one container. So we have waited long enough. The kids are dying. Let's get this going. All right, Renee, grab the um, ice cream out of the freezer down here. And you, you can grab that. Well, I'm gonna leave that there. Why don't I make it right there? Yeah, I'm gonna move the camera over here. Here is the chocolate peanut butter. You can see it's not all the way up to the max line because this was just the one serving of keto chow just mixed up as it's supposed to with the 14 ounces of water and the half a stick of butter. And then this is the two servings of the blueberry pie with heavy whipping cream all the way up to the max line. Which one should we mix up first? Choc chocolate peanut butter. Chocolate peanut butter, okay. So let's plug it in and see what it does. This is our first time using, using this machine. So you can see here that this has advanced creamify technology. So if that doesn't sell you on it, I don't know what will. We pull yeah. this out like this, right? Yeah. And then we, um, we unlock this lid. Yeah, and then we're doing the peanut butter one first. There we go. Oh, and we got our little volcano in there, like they oh, say is gonna that's happen. Weird. Yeah. It's because it freezes on the outside first, and then freezes in the middle, and then expands and all that. Okay, so and we have our blade in there, all ready to go. Uh huh. Right, How do we do this? There we go. Okay. Put it back in. That's all ready. Put it in. We slide it in. Renee, do you want to twist it? Come over on the side. Yeah, all right, so twist it, way. and it'll go up until it clicks. 
There we go. Okay, so one thing to know about this machine is it's very, very loud. So Levi, you should scoot back and you guys can cover your ears while um, it runs. So with the keto chow, apparently you're supposed to use the light ice cream setting. Let's see, oh, I'm gonna do full. So this deluxe model has a feature where you can just um, creamify the top half and like you could mix in something to the top half and get it all creamified, scoop that out, and then the bottom layer is still frozen and you can add a different um, add-in or something to that and then creamify that. So you have to choose if you wanna do the top layer, the full, or the bottom. I'm gonna go ahead and do the full and we're gonna choose scoopable light ice cream and it's gonna take four minutes and it's gonna be loud. Are you guys ready for this? Yeah. Okay, and then we press this to start it, I believe. Here we go. Real quick, I want to let you know that Keto Chow is having a one day only and actually just part of a day only flash sale and giveaway. It just is going to go on until 6 p.m. Eastern time today, March 17th. And the deal is that you can get 20% off of the Irish cream flavor. Then also during that time, if you place an order, there will be a giveaway where they will pick five winners, five people that have ordered, and they will either refund your full order or you will get a $50 Keto Chow gift card, whichever happens to be greater. The coupon code to use for the Irish cream 20% off is irish-20. I will have the link and the code and all the details down in the description. So apparently um, it can often need a respin. Uh, one time is not always enough, but I want to see what it looks like at this point. Oh, Ooh, see how powdery it is? I see too. It's super, super powdery. It's like snow. You want to feel see? it? Yes. Okay, feel it. I want to feel oh it. Oh my goodness. Mm. Mm -hmm. That is crazy. It's like snow. All right, so we're going to put it in. I think Chris said he does it on light ice cream two times, and then maybe a respin after that if it needs it. So I'll just go ahead and do that. Respin? Okay. That you don't have to plug again. You like do the have whole to plug... thing again? Yeah. No. I know, I know. This is take some work. We need it. Okay. Eat it. And then um we'll just go to light ice cream again and start. Plug your ears. Okay, let's see what it looks like now. Yeah. We might have to do it one more time, we'll see. No! Oh, please no. I know. Please no. Okay. Let's see what it looks like. <gasps> it's uh, ice cream. It still looks pretty powdery to me. I, I'd say we do it again. No. Mmm. Yep, still pretty powdery. Maybe we'll do it on the respin setting this time. Oh, I know we did it last time. Well, I did it on light ice cream again. This time I'll actually do it on a respin. I don't know how long the respin takes. Let's see. Hope it doesn't take four minutes. Let's see right here. Oh, cool. Okay, Race just two. Oh, didn't take that for that long. It didn't take for that long. Let's see what it looks like now. Okay. If we have to do it again. <gasps> Look at that, Renee. I think it looks like ice cream. Look at that. That's yours, and then mine, and then hers. Okay. So I wanted to mix up the other one and then do all the tasting after, but they couldn't bear to wait that long. So we have our chocolate peanut butter, scoopable ice cream. And isn't it nice this ice cream has no eggs? Yes! So Levi can have some. A lot of times ice cream has eggs. Yeah, sometimes. Okay. If we have to mix it. Oh, hey, wait for us. Wait. Ready? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Oh, look at how, look at how creamy this is. Mm. Wait, did you say down? Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Sorry. Mm. It just looks amazing. Okay. Here we it go. Tastes so much like Reese's. Mmm. Mm. I can taste the peanut butter. It's almost like the peanut butter is more, is stronger than the chocolate flavor. Mmm. I just taste Reese's. Mm-hmm. What do you think? 
Good. Is it very cold? I got cooking water because okay. it's very cold. Okay. Water is cold. Mm. Wow. I could eat this all day. I mm. know. Is it all you dreamed it would be? Yes. Mm. What would make this better? Nothing. Really? I was thinking like adding in chocolate chips or adding this in is good. like ribbons of peanut butter. Ooh. Wait, we gotta experiment with the add-ins. Maybe on a different video. Oh my goodness, it's so good. My wicket. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. You wanna lick it? I, I've been licking it. Like and eating it. Mmm, it's so good. Alright. We can eat the rest of our scoops while we process the blueberry pie. Oh my gosh. I don't see it. Look at that. That I looks amazing. It. Whoa. It's like a swirl of like a bump at the bottom. Yeah, this one was more full. Ooh, that looks so amazing. So Renee, I know you're not a huge fan of berries. That's the only weird thing about Renee is that she doesn't like berries. But you're willing to try the blueberry pie yes. ice cream? It's not. It smells good. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. <gasps> I feel like this one is softer. I, I did them, you know, exactly the same amount of spins on the same settings, but this one is softer. Maybe it's because of the um, cream instead of the Wait, butter. It was. It's so soft. It. It's I have so to like soft. really push on the to oh. like get a bite. <gasps> Look. Get it. Everyone go. <gasps> we can do that as our our thumbnail. You guys ready to try it? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, ready, set. Yeah. Try it. Mmm. I like it. Mmm. A lot. Mmm. 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 All right. I think I like the the creaminess of the cream instead of the butter. Cause I think that's the difference. I like the chocolate better. You did. You want more chocolate? Yeah. Instead of the blueberry pie one? Mm -hmm. You can eat it out of the container if you want. Here, just lick that one off. I think I might start adding a little bit of extra sweetener, maybe allulose, because, you know, when things are frozen, they don't taste as sweet as before they were frozen. So I, I could see this being a little bit sweeter. Mm -hmm. I bet some allulose would be a good addition to this. And allulose... Helps the ice cream stay soft too, so that's nice. Mm -hmm. So cold. Are we done? Are you done? Yeah. You can be done. Do you want to say bye to everybody? Bye. All right, you can leave. All right, Renee. So how many thumbs up do you give the concept of keto chow ice cream? 10,000. 10,000. All right. I do. You give 10,000 too? Okay. And what flavors do you think should be next that we try? Um, salt and caramel. Mm, that's a good idea. I actually already started freezing another container of caramel macchiato because that's what I want to try as ice cream. And so I will be able to do that tomorrow. And we're going to have to empty out these containers so that we can... Do another batch. Oh, I want to try chocolate mint. And then add some Lily's chocolate chips. And then have mint chip ice cream. Sound good? Uh, yes. Okay, everybody out there, let us know what your favorite flavors are. Also, let us know any other recipes for ice cream, sorbet, any kind of a frozen treat like that um, that we need to try. Obviously, we're going to be eating a lot of keto chow ice cream, but if there are any other recipes out there that are worth trying, definitely let us know about those as well. Thanks for hanging out in the kitchen with us today. Can, uh, wait, can I say how many thumbs up I give each of them? Oh, okay. How many thumbs up do you give the peanut butter chocolate? I think it's probably nine. Nine? Yes. Okay. Out of ten? Yes. Okay. And how many thumbs up do you give the blueberry pie ice cream? 10. 10 out of 10? Well, I'm surprised about <laughs> that because I was expecting you to like the chocolate peanut butter the best. Well. So that's a win for the blueberry pie right there. I I, I kind, of, kind of wanted some fruit or berries or something like that right yeah, now. So kind probably, of sounds refreshing. What, yeah. 
Just because of the mood you were in? Yes. Yeah. But I, I, sometimes I would probably say this. Okay, yeah, I, just, I, I, I feel the same. Sometimes I'm in a different kind of mood. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye. We need a good sign out for these videos. Should we high five at the end? Uh, okay. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>